Hey guys, how are we doing? We are back playing some more Raid Shadow Legends. How are we guys? Okay, so we're going to continue on with the campaign. But before I do, I want to do a couple of things in the main menu here. And I want to sort of go through um, a couple of things as well before I get underway. So, um, I was sort of mucking about with one of my characters here. Or champions, I should say, rather. And this was one of my champions where I was sort of asking the question beforehand. Do I invest or do I not invest? You know, sort of like, you know, to be or to not to be kind of thing. So, what I ended up doing was I actually upgraded one of the champions and I not knowingly and of course I mean myself I'm only just learning the game and I sort of wanted to sort of take you down my journey and my path as well just to sort of give you what it would sort of look like if you were to do this on your own for the first time or whatever that might be so with that being said I upgraded this champion here uh, so he's now a three star with now the maximum level set at level 30 as opposed to level 20, which was based on the two star. What I didn't account for, or what, what I wasn't aware of, is that he actually reverts back to level one again, which is surprising to me, but also it makes a whole lot of sense in the, in the world as well at the same time. What appears as well is that most of his stats did not get removed, which is probably the best thing as well. Um, but also, yeah, it was just a, a little bit taken aback the fact that he got reverted back to level one again which was quite interesting so yeah i had no idea that had um that had that some you know that type of effect or whatever that might may have been but yeah it happened is what it is so yeah so that that's a thing that happened but otherwise we will try for the last part of the third campaign which i left you guys from which i wasn't able to complete i hopefully should be able to complete it this time round. I did upgrade my epic champion here, so she should have more than enough power to do the job, even without any sort of possible um, upgrades here, which I'm not going to bother with. I'm just going to see how we go with it, because I haven't decided how I want to set this person up as well in terms of gear and all that sort of stuff. I really got to sort of read into it and see what the, the recommended um, skill set and armor equipment that I should be investing my time in. So we're going to go ahead and do that, but before we do, let's jump into the portal. As you can see, I've got 60 standard items, uh, sorry, shards here. Uh, so five ancients and one void. So I thought, you know what, I'll start off with opening some of these guys here. I'm going to summon maybe five of these guys. I'll open up all my ancients and I'll open up the void and we'll see what we get. So let's go ahead and do that. So I know you guys like these openings and things like that. So I figured, you know what, let's just open some of these and um, and see what we get because we don't know. Plus I can use these later on if I want to um, upgrade uh, some of my um, uh, future champions as well. So yeah, I guess in that sense, why not? Okay, so, so far, you know what, I mean, they're all common, which is to be expected. It's going to be very hard for us to get, you know, um, decent uh, champions. So that's number four. And we'll go ahead and do number five. And who do we get? Okay, so these guys are all very pretty basic. I mean, I've got 55 other shards that I can play with. And before, you know, we go ahead and sort of um, completely use up all of my available inventory space, which I'm probably going to start upgrading further down the line. But let's go ahead and open up these guys because it's going to be nothing less than a rare, but I might even get an epic or possibly a legendary. So there's going to be five. Let's see how we go. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it's a rare. That's fine. Okay, cool. Let's summon the next one. Okay, nothing special so far. I mean, doesn't appear to be. I mean, look, we look pretty standard here. I guess a lot of these guys here, especially with their, I mean, I can notice some of their stats quite low. I think you guys would use these and offer these to upgrade your, your better champions, I'd imagine. So, you know, I'll probably end up just keeping them around just for inventory. And I pulled an epic. Nice. All right. I'm happy with that. 
I mean, it looks like, I mean, the attack looks on the lower end of the scale, so it looks like this one here is more focused on defense, just at, at initial glance. Let me know in the comments, guys, down below, you know, if this is a good champion or not. I'd be interested to know. Uh, let me know about what I should be doing with my champions as well. Now that I've opened up a few of these guys, really, really interested to know what would be the go with that. Anyway, let's summon up the next one. Okay, so another rare. And here are you, okay. Not bad. And uh, let's see who we get now. Okay, so you know what? In five tries, I got one epic. You know what? I'm happy with that. I mean, let me know what you guys think of the ratio here. You know, how many guys do you pull? Um, do you guys always get uh, better champions? Do you guys always pull epics more out of the, um, the ancient shards or whatever it might be? Let me know. Anyway, now I did promise you this, so I'll open up the Void Shard and let's see who we get out of it. Okay, so it's a rare, unfortunately, but what do you do? But this one's a neutral, so this is this is someone a little bit different that I, ha I haven't had before, so yeah, I'll, I'll definitely keep him around. Otherwise, yeah, that concludes the openings here today awesome so i'm just going to quickly redeem all these guys i really like the fact that you guys can actually get a lot of um um you know little little kickbacks and benefits just for opening uh you know certain things or doing certain quests and things like that all right so we're going to jump into here i'm going to go all the way to the bottom Alright, so I'm going to have to cycle out some of my guys here, which unfortunately I can't. Oh, okay. Here we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Um, Alright, who have I got here? I think I've got everyone who I wanted to be in here. I'm just thinking here real quickly. Um, yeah, sure. Alright, let's see how we go. Alright. Only one way to find out, guys. And hopefully I'll finish this off so at least you guys can read a bit of the um, the lore that comes behind it as well, which is always the interesting thing that I like to watch. Look at that. Already decent. Okay. And if I can get past here without any sort of... Um, I was going to say, without any sort of um, impacted damage, then I should be okay, but that's fine. Minimal casualties on that one there, but we'll see how we go in the second round. Okay. Man, that epic there really makes a difference, doesn't it? Okay, so as you know, I'm, I'm sitting on auto mode for the moment. I just want to see how we go as a, as a run through. To me, I feel like you can get very complacent with running on auto mode constantly. I don't know how you guys play. If you guys are, you know, are very high up there, do you guys just only auto battle and just watch, you know, how the game unfolds? Or do you guys completely do it as a manual only thing and you don't, you know, um, you know, bother with the whole automatic mode or anything like that. Let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to know what you guys, how you guys sort of play this game in a sense, I guess. Yeah, it'd be very, very interesting and how you guys sort of do that. Okay, so fortunately this is, I don't know how I'm going to go with this to be honest with you. I think I might not make it again, which may not be good, but I'm hoping I'm hoping. Okay, so we're nearly at the halfway mark and I've just lost my first champion. Oh, perfect, we've got a revival. Okay, and my main champion will die maybe, possibly after this. Yep, there we go. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any further than this, guys. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much going to see it as it is, unfortunately. Yeah, so naturally, if I did equip some artifacts and things like that, oh, excuse me, I may have may, may have had a better opportunity. Um, whether or not that would be nor here or there, I really don't know. Um, I guess I'll, you know, I'll have to sort of find out. What I probably should have done is possibly I probably should have jumped in and I should have used my other champion here to help out with that particular battle. I guess that could have been probably the way way to go with that. Um, but I sort of wanted to sort of level him up as well at the same time. And, you know, and just sort of, you know, make use of the sparring pit in that nature. So I guess, you know, it is what it is. You know, what, what can you do really with that at the end of the day? Um, but yeah, really want to try and unlock the second um, slot so I can actually uh, power up two champions at the one time. I mean, I don't know how many, how much of you guys invested in this to um, to increase your champions and things like that. Uh, that'd be interesting to know. But you know, also doing the gem mine. I know a lot of people have said in the past that you need like this here is probably one of the higher priorities that you want to do because eventually this will start auto collecting and providing you gems in the future and things like that once you get it done. Yes, it appears that it's a high amount for you to pay to start with, but from what a lot of people are saying is it does um, start to sort of pay itself back over time. So interesting, interesting to know about that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that as well down in the comments. I always like to sort of check in here sometimes because I always like to try and find that and just grab that. Now, I don't know if I should be really grabbing that, to be honest with you. I'm not too sure. It does say that it's an epic item. I don't know if I'm up to that point where I should be worrying about these sort of things now and I should just rather use what I've got for the meantime and then I mean I guess eventually later on I'll have um, better armor that will drop and that will be more accessible to me so I'm guessing that might be the case because right now I have so if I look into this this is pretty much all the armor that I have at the moment I mean I know it's not much compared to probably you know a lot of other people there are these two sets of armors which came with my respected epics as well so i don't know if i should equip these to my epics so particularly to um uh to my shaman here and to my uh to my jisor here i'm not too sure whether i should be doing that or not but i don't know you guys let me know down in the comment section and i'll i'll take it on advice anyway I'm going to leave it here, guys. Appreciate you all tuning in, watching as always. If you guys haven't done so yet, please hit that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And if you guys are new, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff, and comment down below. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Catch you next time.